Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna bring you a video on this Golden Mate Orion 1000. I've already been using this battery so far. I really, really like it. I'm gonna put it through some more testing today to see if we can turn that like into a love. Uh, so far, so good. You may have seen this already in a previous video on the alpha inverter test. Uh, it did good at surge loads, things like that. So I have a link to that video in the description. So today we're gonna test the capacity on it. Uh, it's supposed to be IP67 waterproof. So this ought to be interesting. And then also gonna do a tear down as usual with thermal protection test because it's supposed to have 20 different BMS parameter functions in here. It's got smart Bluetooth, series capable, all kinds of cool stuff. So let's get right into it. So you can see the battery is fully topped off, ready for the capacity test. And also a cool feature on this unit, it's got a user interface display. Let me get the light so you can see that. Check that out. Oh yeah, very nice. So the battery is hooked up, no hidden wires. I'll show you as usual. No hidden wires, energy meter right there, little shunt breaker. Come around the back of the inverter, no funny business going on. So we're starting at 14.35 volts. Uh, idle burn on the inverter right there. Now time to put the load to the battery and get a capacity reading off of it. So there we go. Let everything come up, get an amp reading, and see what it's pulling. So the load stabilized around 33 and a half to 34 amps, 430 watts, real life test off an inverter. So I'll run it till the inverter shuts down and see what we get. I'll be back with y'all after a while. Let me show you that display on here again with it under load. It's kind of like a little mini shun on there. It shows you what you're pulling. So I see we're pulling 430 to 450 out. Same thing as the energy meter showing. That is pretty slick right there. And this battery, while it's pulling down, I'll go ahead and tell you what it, what it comes with. You get a nice, very comprehensive user manual with this battery. Kudos Golden Mate for a very nice manual give you wire lugs so you can make your own terminals ready to go off the bat. You got CAN bus and RS-45 communication if you're into that. It's got a smart BMS with Bluetooth, uh, an app that shows you all kinds of cool stuff on it. You know how I feel about third-party apps, so I will not be downloading that, but if you're into apps, they got a nice app for this, so that's cool too. We're about to roll over the 1280 watt hour mark, so we'll have our money's worth here in just a second. There we go, we got our money's worth. Anything past this is a bonus. I can't believe it's still at 12.23 volts under a 35 amp load. So those EV grade cells that are supposedly UL listed are doing pretty good. So let's see what the little energy meter is showing us now that we've pulled full capacity out of it. Let me get you the display on right there and we'll see what it does. Showing 1% left. So we'll keep pulling until the inverter shuts off. Well, I believe the Golden Mate has taken the Crown as the largest capacity battery I've tested. Look at that, 1,356 watt hours is still going. So I have to double check through my videos, but I believe this one takes the lead for the biggest capacity. Wow, the inverter just shut off. The Golden Mate Orion delivered 1,372 watt hours out of a nominal 1,280 watt hour battery. Wow. The Golden Mate Orion biggest capacity tested so far in a 100 amp hour class it is the new 100 amp hour class champion at 1372 watt hours sweet all right now time for the ip67 waterproof test so uh, it's on the listing you know if they claim it i test it but they do have disclaimers in the book you can pause right here and read this so in other words don't do what i'm fixing to do but it says it's waterproof, so if you drop it off your boat or your kayak or whatever, you need to know if it's gonna mess it up or not, so time for that test. On today's episode of Things Not To Do With Your Lithium Iron Phosphate Battery, I've got the Don't Do This bucket uh, sitting there full of water, so I'm gonna dip the Orion 1000 in there. We'll see if it's waterproof. I'll let it sit five minutes. ip 67 is completely waterproof, so we're gonna find out. All right, so I got a, the bucket of water. I've got a rip cord on the battery. In case something dumb happens, I can pull it out of the water. Fire extinguishers right off scene, off behind camera. So time to dip it in the water. There we go, it's underwater. Let's sit about five or 10 minutes, see what happens. It's been about five minutes in the water, so uh, don't see any ill effects, no bubbles, nothing like that. So 
uh, sticker's coming off, but we don't need that anyhow. So uh, I guess five minutes is good enough for my testing. Let's pull it out and uh, tear it apart, see if any water got in it. Sweet. And the display still works too after it's a little water bath. Awesome. Free washing job. Well, I definitely can say that's the first. Uh, so I went ahead and put a check mark by the IP67 waterproof. Uh, you know, my testing was five minutes in a bucket, but still, uh, we'll, we'll revisit this in a minute once we get to the teardown, see if there's any water inside, but I'm gonna dry it off and then teardown time. No water in any of the protective caps for the screws. No water under the caps for the communication ports, things like that. So I'm gonna take the screws out and we'll crack it open. So I've got all the screws out of the lid, so it should open right up now. All right, everything came loose. I don't see any water anywhere. That's a good thing. No water on the board nowhere. No water on this side. Sweet. Let me disconnect all these little cords right here, all the communication cords of the display and things, so I can remove the lid and we'll go down further into the battery. Here's a shot of the BMS. Very large and robust BMS. Very nice right there. There's our Bluetooth receiver, it looks like right there. We've got one, two, three, four temperature sensors or thermistors going down to the cell pack. Uh, nice large wires going down to the BMS and to the cell pack. Those are number eights, 200 degree jacketed number eights right there. Let's see if there's any water down in the case. Don't see anything there, nothing there. Wow, looking good so far. We'll find out when I pull that cell pack out. All right, the cell pack is out of the case. And so now, for the moment of truth, did any water go in through the case during my water test? Dry as a bone. Awesome. So, yes, we're sticking with our check mark on that. Look at this cell pack. Ain't that beautiful? Look at that. Nicely made. Get you a little view of the actual cell pack and the spot welds on the cylindrical pack here. Let me get that corner pulled back up right there for you. Look at that. Wow. Excellent, excellent build quality. So impressed with this battery. And on the side of the pack right here are all the temperature probes, temperature sensors right there. So I'll pick one and uh, just pull it out. We'll do high and low temp test on that. But uh, you know, it's cylindrical pack, so it's got sensors all over the place, which is par for the course. One, for, one set for the lower pack, one set for the upper pack, so nice. Right, so the charger's charging right there. I'm gonna test the low temp sensor right here with my colder than ice ice pack as I always use. So watch the charger, it should shut off if we have functioning low temperature protection. Took exactly 45 seconds for it to cut out with the ice pack. That's how a low temp protection is supposed to work for these batteries. A regular ice pack, 45 seconds, it cut out perfect. Let me warm it back up, initiate charging again, bam, quick reacting, awesome. That's exactly how they're supposed to work. And the display also gives you an indicator, a cold temperature indicator on that screen right there. So just be aware of that too. I didn't show you on camera, but it, it shows you high or low temperature in protect mode. It lets you know on the display. Now time for high temp, same thing. If high temp protection works, the charger will shut off when it triggers under a high temp condition. So here we go, watch the charger right there. Wow, that's the fastest one ever. That only took 10 seconds. Wow. Cool it off, get back to charging. Bam, back to charging, awesome. I'll tell you what, this Golden Mate Orion 1000 is an absolute battle tank. This battery is A++++. I'm telling you what, the alpha video from the other day, you saw that, didn't you? I surged and surged this battery, no problems at all. So check mark there, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour capacity. It delivered 1372 on an inverter, real life capacity right there. Biggest one, that's my new 100 amp hour class champion. Yes, IP67 waterproof in case you drop it off your boat or your kayak or forget it out in the rain when you're camping. My crude testing delivered five minutes, dry battery during the teardown, no water intrusion into this battery. Yes, awesome. Thermal protection, good quality in the teardown. Yes, fastest acting low and high temp of any battery I've tested so far. Everybody needs to take note, this battery is how one is supposed to be built. 
I can't find anything wrong with this battery. I mean, for lack of a better word, it's as close to perfect as you can get. This is an awesome battery. I can highly recommend this battery. I have a link in the description if you want to look into it some more. It's a gold mate. Keep doing the good work. Good job on this battery. Only thing I can find wrong with this is I need three more of them to build a 51.2 volt pack. So you might see that in the upcoming video. This is an awesome battery. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all take care. Be safe.